how big this sucker is. I'm on a flat platform at the tippy top. Yo, what up guys? Mike here, Entrepreneur Army. We're back at it again. Um, we're just going to go over some roof cleaning safety, man. Um, when you're cleaning roofs, let's be honest, you're going to, you know, you're risking your life. Uh, if you're not careful, especially if you're on top of a roof like I am and with the tiles, I have to get on top. And if you don't set your ladder up correctly with, you know, the perfect angle, uh, making sure you have stabilizers on the roof, making sure you're not pinched with the ladder touching the gutter and you're actually on the stabilizers and you make sure you have your, your rubber mats down if it's concrete, make sure you have the spikes down if it's um, grass or dirt. Um, make sure you have someone there to hold the ladder. That's your, always your best bet. I mean, there's times where I don't have someone to hold my ladder, but ideally you want someone on the, end, on the bottom of that ladder just so it don't kick out. If you set your ladder up correctly, it shouldn't happen. But with, you know, go, coming to different surfaces, you know, you got to make sure you're flat on concrete, make sure there's rubber on your, your feet, on the, on the, uh, ladder feet. But anyway, I don't want to get too detailed into it, but just... Watch me as I clean these roofs and, and, and what I do is I take a before video of everything before and then I do the same thing after. It does a couple things. It makes great before and afters. You can still, you know, you can pause your video and take still shots out of it. So you get right angles and then you do before and afters. If you see any cracks or broken tiles, any kind of clumpy patch jobs, videotape that before and after and that just covers you for people trying to blame you for things so there's multiple reasons but the number one thing is you want to be safe so these videos i put out there just to kind of get an idea of you know what it looks like before and after if you're trying to get into the business or whatnot but hope you guys enjoy and uh make sure you leave a like and comment You can see some patchwork there. You got a crack here. And you got a crack there. You got some damage going on. Looks like a repair there. You got some damage, someone's tools up here. Got 
some damage there. Crack tile. Crack tile right there. Nothing too crazy. Got some patchwork here. Some broken tile there. Got some patchwork there, patchwork there. God dang, man. Broken tiles there. There. Sheesh. There. Alright, here we go. We'll do this. Some more broken ugly mug. Yeah, more broken tiles here. You can see that. Some patchwork. Um, but I'm gonna get up here and do a 360 turn so we can get some broken tiles there. But some there. Some shoddy. Patchwork. Yeah, it looks like there's a, I don't know, shingle wrapped around that. There. Oh, yeah, some upward tiles upside down. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is what we got going on. Interesting. They're broken and they're upside down. Very interesting. Some shouty uh, patchwork there. And then when you get off, just grab the ladder. Yeah. Okay, if you look really close to the gutter here, you can see shininess, which is failing paint. Just best to document that. Bro, I'm gonna make the most insane thing talk. Do it. Do it. Be like, do you.
All right, we're up here. It's probably super windy sounding, but we're up on this two-story. I mean, we're on a mansion right now. Uh, if you look behind me, you can see the roof. How big this sucker is. I'm on a flat platform at the tippy top. Let me flip this around. But yeah, so we're all the way up. Look at this. I can see intercoastal and then further out is the ocean over those house over that white house there yeah beautiful times keep doing your thing don't give up on yourself This is today's project. Oh yeah, coming out good. <laughs> 